know it's been a while since I've posted a video. I'm really sorry for that. Um, however, you guys probably already know that I am getting married this Saturday. And I just had grad last, uh, or yesterday. So I've been, you could say, kind of busy this past few weeks. I'm really stressed out and... Yeah, so that's why I haven't been uh, filming, just because I'm getting ready for the wedding and grad and stuff. But nevertheless, I decided uh, to film some videos. I'm just going to film a bunch, just so I can upload over the honeymoon, and you guys aren't really missing out on tons, because it's already been, I think, three weeks since my last video returns. Anyways, I am blabbering on. You're not here to uh, hear me complain about my life. You're here to see an empties video, yes? I have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's dig in. Okay, so the first one that I'm pulling out is really boring. You're probably like, Allison, why do you have an empty paper bag in your uh, empties? So this actually held a Lush bath bomb. I can't remember which one it was. I know that it was white and it had green and red speckles in it. And I just used it last night. Yes, last night. And it was really, really good. Um, definitely not my favorite, but nevertheless, I still liked it. So next thing that I'm pulling out of here is a uh, reoccurring uh, empty on my channel. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. As you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I absolutely adore this mascara. And what I really love about this is it lasts so long, I find. So that is what the wand looks like. It kind of looks like an hourglass shape. Gives you nice, voluminous, fluttery lashes. This is one that I actually didn't like. This is the Neutrogena fresh foaming face cleanser. Um, this was very gentle on my face, which I liked. However, it wasn't strong enough. I found that my acne still like came back and it didn't really do anything to combat that. So I definitely will be uh, repurchasing that again. Next thing is something that I really love that I got in top box two months ago. This is just the regular Bioderma micellular solution. Oh my goodness. Butterfingers. So that is what it looks like. It's just a little sample size, but this lasted me for quite a while. And I just like it because it takes off all your makeup. Really, really like this. And I'm using another one right now. This one is another favorite. And this is the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light. You can probably still see, oh my gosh. Powder everywhere. So that is what it looks like, the color really like this. It's just a really nice setting powder that's finely milled. Looks very natural on your face. I obviously bought another one of those. This next one is, again, this is actually a really boring uh, beauty empties because it's stuff that I just always have in my empties videos. I guess you know that I like these products. Um, so this is the Michael Todd True Organics Tropical Fruit Enzyme Exfoliant Scrub. Stuff is really good. I'm not going to say any more about this because I've blabbed on about this for too long, but if you need a good exfoliator, try this one out because I love it. It's really good. This is the travel size of the Smashbox Photo Finish More Than Primer Blemish Control. I really like this one. It has salicylic acid in it, so it has all the qualities or properties of the regular one, except I find this one not as greasy, and it obviously combats your uh, blemishes, which is really good. This is, oh, this is something that I absolutely hated. I got this in last month's Top Box. This is the a travel size of the Defy Reshapable Hairspray. This is like a finishing spray, so I, you know, used it as they said. And oh my gosh, it's like a little, like, just uh, like a spray. I don't know if I just put too much on, but my hair instantly got greasy, and the smell of this is like pine needles. Like, it was absolutely disgusting and I washed my hair the next morning so I was like I I'm getting a headache from this scent and it still like smelt a bit after I washed my uh hair so this like you just smell like one of those like car like air fresheners you know like those little like trees that you hang on your uh mirror that's what it smells like really really like potent version of that did not like that at all this is Another thing that I got from my top box, this is How About Them Apples Cheek and Lip Cream from The Balm. Can I just say, this is the cutest packaging ever. Let's open it up, and this is just one shade. It comes with six different shades, like the full-size palette, but this is pie. There's still a little bit in here. Um, it was alright. I definitely won't buy the big palette. It worked good as a nice stain. I didn't use this on my cheeks, but I liked it as a stain. 
But I'm not a big fan of, you know, like cream cheek colors. I don't know. I just prefer to use like a, an actual stain or a lipstick. Um, and this is gross because this is wet. So that means that something has leaked. Awesome. Um, this is, I can't even really tell you what this is because the uh, label has completely worn off. I know that this is the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stain. I don't know if that's right at all, but it has a felt tip pen on one side. This is a nice deep red, and then the other side is a hydrating balm. Um, this just got old, and this, this side is just really dried out. I know it looks like there's a lot of product left in there, but it's just all, it's just all dried up. This is another uh, fresh foaming cleanser from Neutrogena. I actually got both of these in like Christmas sets and I figured I may as well use them. They're not terrible. I don't really want to waste it so I just used it for the sake of using it I guess. This is a Lush Bath Balm. This was the purple one, I think, that stained my skin purple. Yes. Yes it was. Um, yeah, if you're extremely, I've explained this in one of my previous videos, but if you're extremely pale, some of these, uh, more vibrant bath bombs are going to stain your skin. Like, I got out of the tub, and I was, like, purple. It was kind of scary. But don't worry, if you have a shower right after with really, really hot water, it comes off no problem. But at, when I first saw myself, like, all purple, I kind of had, like, heart failure. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go to school tomorrow, and I'm going to look like a Violet Beauregard off of the original Willy Wonka. This is another thing that I got out of my top box. This is the Elizabeth Arden New York Flawless Future Moisture Cream Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. I didn't really like this actually. I used all of it up, but I didn't like it. I found it very greasy and it took forever to soak in. So it wasn't my favorite sunscreen. That's what I hate about sunscreens. They're always so greasy feeling. This is another favorite. This is the Michael Todd True Organics. Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. Really, really love this. Not going to say uh, much about it because I've blabbed on about it more than enough on my channel. So if you need a new toner, check this one out. This one is, yet again, another sample from my top box. This is a Luxie 10 uh, Almond Shower Oil. And I actually tried this, and I didn't really like it. I was like, I don't know what the hype is all about this. But then I was watching um, Estee on Essie Button. And she said that she uses this um, to shave her legs. And so I tried that and oh my goodness, I thought it was great to uh, put on right before you shave your legs. It was just, I liked it better than uh, shave cream. So I really, really like that. It's really expensive though, so I probably won't purchase it, but I really liked uh, using it while I had it. This is another thing from Lush. This is the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. That is what it looks like. It smells like cupcakes. Do not taste this, because even though it smells like cupcake batter, it tastes like dirt. And they'll probably warn you in the store. But I didn't believe sure. her. I really like this. I definitely will get it again. Probably not right now because I have so many products to go through, but it's definitely something that I will uh, try again in the future. This is something that I don't like. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Now, I know I have put this in one of my favorites videos about a year ago, and I really, really liked it, but I don't know if my skin has changed or... I don't know, I just, I really don't like it now. Um, it just makes your foundation apply very, very uneven. It makes your skin feel really, really tight. And I have extremely oily skin. So it does uh, live up to its claim how it does pretty much suck out all the oil. And it, my skin doesn't appear shiny for most of the day. But my skin just feels so tight and dry. It's uncomfortable. And my foundation just looks like really cakey and it's just not worth it. I would rather have my face look shiny than my face to look super cakey the whole day. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So yeah, I'm definitely liking the Smashbox a lot more. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is another one of, uh, yuck, it's so gross. Another one of, uh, Max face powders. This is actually the same one that I showed you. It's just the packaging has changed. This is in a darker color because I use this as a bronzer. It's the exact same product, just different uh, shades, but this is the new packaging now. I really prefer this packaging because you can like see what shade it is. I guess it's not really a big deal for me because I only buy this in light, but I don't know. I still like this one better, just the fact that you can see it. This is another Lush Bath Bomb. I think this was the original Butterball, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure on that. No, it wasn't. It was a uh, sex bomb. 
Yes, it was sex bomb. So this one is like light pink and then it's got a rose in the middle and then when you set it in your bathtub, it like explodes obviously and like rose petals are all like throughout your bathtub, which is kind of nice. It was very soothing and relaxing and for someone who's not really a big fan of rose scented stuff, I thought this wasn't too overpowering. I really liked it. So that one I'll definitely be getting again. And last but not least, I know I've kind of like rushed through these, but I didn't want this uh, video to be like 20 minutes long. This is the Revlon Lip Butter, Color Burst Lip Butter in the shade 90 Sweet Tart. I really love this color. It's just, it broke and like that's all that's left. Like it's just not worth keeping. I know I'm not going to use it, so it may as well go in the garbage and not keep like uh, space, take up space in my makeup bag. These are really hydrating, really pigmented, and I love the packaging, how it's the exact color of the uh, shade of the actual product. So it's easy to find in your makeup bag. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you found a few products that you guys want to try. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know your thoughts on them. If you saw some products in this video and now you wanna try them, also let me know. I love it when people um, try products that I recommend, it's always cool. Um, if you have any suggestions for any videos that you want seen in the future, Feel free to just leave a comment down below. As always, I will put all of the links to all the products featured in this video in the description bar. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!